Come on, hurry up, John. <laughs> I don't know why, you know, if you've ever had an ulcer, it's not pleasant. And last night I got an ulcer, I felt a ulcer down there. So, in my infinite wisdom, I decided to get some salt and rub it in. And I rubbed it in so much that inside my mouth, all the way around there, it's kind of swollen. But I don't think you can see it here, but would it look better? It's like it was, I think it'd look better if it was swollen around there. Look at that. I feel like Daniel now. Big old microwave jaw. Oh, the sun's right out. It's burning my eyeballs out. And we've got a couple of hours of editing to do, and then I'm going to go out with the dog somewhere. I just saw an interesting sign for this place called Canantine Falls. So it says that the dogs have to be on a lead, but you know what? I mean, I'm going to have a look, even if it's five minutes. Well, I'm presuming that it's a waterfall or something. Oh. <laughs> No, seriously, I have no idea. It says the entrance and falls and reception just here. Obviously, Shema can't take the dogs off, but it's nice and pretty. So, we're going to see a couple of waterfalls. I wonder where they are. Not much of a walk, really, but this is beautiful. I like this has been an old sawmill or something, and it's still in the original location. For your own safety, please do not sit on the fencing. I'm not gonna. 90 steps to the top. Let's go. I found the waterfall. It's not exactly huge, but it is so, so pretty and they've preserved it beautifully. I can honestly say I've never seen a waterfall as large as this in the UK. I know it doesn't touch anything what you might get in the States, for example, but it's so pretty, it's so Jurassic. I just want to get over and look at this view because it's amazing. Absolutely breathtaking. And then there's another waterfall which goes all the way up there. It's so rare that you see things like this in the UK. And I think why I like it more than anything is because it's so quaint, so green, and beautiful, beautiful. It seems like I've been walking for ages, so amongst root steps, there was stone steps. It wasn't called night steps. It was the specific waterfall. Called night steps because those night steps where I've just been up, you have to do that to get to it. Where the hell are we going? A woodland scene from a Jurassic Park movie, then I don't know what else would. And they've even got a dinosaur, but I'm not going to see that because I'm scared. They must have created this stream area to make it easier for the water to be directed to get down the falls better. It's so cute. Bell's already been lying in it. Here I'm at at the top, and this is thanks to Lady Susan Exmouth in 1820. She decided to create this amazing, spectacular area. Oh my God, it's breathtaking, it really is. And look, you just pan over these trees here and look at the beautiful countryside. It's absolutely breathtaking. Worth it just for the view. No, I've had a few comments on Facebook about the images of the waterfall today. Guys, it's a waterfall in the UK. I can't do anything about it. That's how big they are. Get over it. Good night. <laughs> Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Can you get up, I think? I've been up for an hour already, just laid in bed. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I used to like a big hot water bottle in the morning and just like move around and cuddle her. She's so cute. Today was the day that you could pre-order your iPhone because it came out today. And I really want one because this front-facing camera on the phone which I'm using is twice as poor as the new one, which means the other one's got twice as many pixels, which is amazing. Um, and I can't do it. So, I'm having a paddy and I'm gonna take the dogs to the reservoir today instead of. We're right in the middle of Dartmoor now, so the streets are a little narrow and I get a bit nervous because I don't know what's coming around the corner. 
This is wild driving. There are not many cars who come through here, I think. Whoa, ow! I hate the fact that they say keep the dogs and leads. Because it makes me feel guilty. But I'm not going to do it. I'm going to be a right rebel. This is pretty. Look, it's like a stream running all the way through this thing. The water's quite low. So it looks like we've gone the opposite way because the actual bulk of the water's behind me, which is a bit stupid. But I'm going to carry on going down this way and just have a look what we can find, if anything. Hey, Belly Bell. This is definitely floodplains from the main reservoir, so it's still out over here. And there's a little bit left in, but look how the grass is, that beautiful fresh grass has grown up at the side. Oh. I wonder if that's why they kind of grow them and then we buy them for 20, 30, 40 quid depending on how big you want yours. I want this little one here, it's cute. We're driving through these little streets again, these tiny little things. I'm going at 20 miles an hour because I'm scared of hitting the sides and we're lost deep in the middle of Dartmoor at the moment. This is an amazing barber's, which is in Chudley Town Centre. And um, it's where the barber's, the guys are really nice. The them really cute. But I'm kind of like twice her age. Ow. All right, back to the vodka, back to the caravan. Well, it's Friday the 13th today, and since everybody gone mental, I nearly had two accidents on the road, because people are going crazy. Seriously, I don't know what's going on. Let's see how the night goes. She has hiccups, so she's gonna do the trick. All right, ready? What just grab your nose and try to to blow your pussy. Breathe. No breathe. All right, try to reach your vagina. Oh, are you ready? Oh! <laughs> so, is your hiccups gone? It actually worked. <laughs> Isn't Daniel the best? She is. Yes, yes. Dust cheek, I just poured myself a vodka. I mean, sorry, I mean a glass of Coke. And I knocked it off. And it's like, when they hit, so I put a towel here. So hopefully it's gonna dry because I just cleaned the friggin' seats. But look at this. Keto lamb chops. But I think I should be having more green vegetables. Um, couldn't be bothered. Ferro Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sogi semalina, sogi semalina. Ding dong do, ding dong do. I just spoke to Daniel and I said, look, if I can get his phone on my credit. I will get him a phone because his video quality is so shit. He needs to improve it. To keep in line with my new iPhone 11, but I'm gonna get in the better iPhone. <sighs> I'm gonna go to bed, guys. It's about half past eight in the morning, and I'm gonna do a little bit of um, washing. I've got a couple of towels that I need to wash, some bedding and some other bits and bobs, and I'm gonna clean the car. It's a good job this washing machine at this laundrette is big because I've got shit loads. I don't know if it's all going to fit in. Easy. <laughs> that went in. I could have got more in that jeans. Such an amazing day today. I'm so happy. I've washed the seats on the inside and sprayed it with this like cotton fresh smell. So hopefully it's going to smell less like dog because it stinks. I'm actually embarrassed when people come near the car because the smell that comes out is disgusting. I'm using that food that I bought a couple of weeks ago. Whoa, it's nearly gone. I'm just going to fill this bin up, see how much there's left, and then I might have to buy some more. Ooh. Okay, just a little bit. I've been such a good gay boy today. I've cleaned the car, I've cleaned the caravan, I've brushed the dogs. I haven't done me, I'm not joking, my feet are disgusting, they are black. Oh, she's having a shit. What shall I do? Decisions, decisions. Shall I clean it up? Yeah! Oh, good girl, bro. 
Thank you. Ready and go. Oh, Jack's got it. Well done, Jack. Come on then. Let's go. At least now I've had a shower. I washed my feet, which is very difficult in the minute shower which I have. And now I'm going to prepare a little shrimp salad. I got this bag from Aldi. <laughs> I'm shopping a couple of tomatoes and a little bit of cucumber, very small, and adding it. And a few other select ingredients, which include celery, finely chopped onion, some half lemon, and some Roquefort cheese. The important thing is to add the herbs. So in this particular dish, I'm going to add lots of pepper, Cornish sea salt, quite a lot. Because I didn't put fresh garlic in, some garlic salt. Peri peri rub, just to give it a bit of a tang. And some paprika. Quite a lot. Right, and the most important thing here is a tad of Albanian olive oil. <laughs> and lots and lots of mayonnaise because we need the fats. Okay, and the great thing about using these bowls is this, because to mix it up, my dears, you just close it and you shake it around. And these bowls are really cool. You know, I've got no pants on, so my bits are like jangling. I know you can't see them because I don't want you to, because that's just dirty. So don't even have in your mind about my jingling bits. Because if you do think about my bits jangling about, that's disgusting. <laughs> and there you've got it, that's my dinner. Look at this, and I'm not pointing to my big fat face. Well, I am. I'm pointing to the beautiful town I have. This is one day of me being like out, generally cleaning the car and doing bits like that. And Devon, for the next five days, is going to be beautiful. So hopefully I'm going to get a nice tan by the time I look on. It's going to be beautiful. I'm so excited. Potty in the caravan. Potty in the caravan. Potty in the caravan. You know, I just did like, what, four hours work? Because I'm doing some advertising on Monday, which is very boring, but I had to do the work. And it was such a beautiful day today that I am going out. And I was thinking, oh, should I go to a different place? Should I go to a new beach to discover something amazing? No, I'm going to Exmouth. I didn't even think about this. How many people want to go to the beach on Sunday on a beautiful hot day? Traffic jams. I might even I might not even be able to go to the beach. Well, this is Sunday. But I'd better stop on at the supermarket because everything closes at four o'clock. And I don't know where I'm gonna be going tomorrow, but I thought I'd just stuck up now on the way. Jack is going crazy in the back of the car. She's whining. She really needs to get out. Oh well, it looks reasonably busy, but I hope we can find a parking space. Oh, some cars here. It's getting busy. Oh, it's really busy. <laughs> the tide's right out here, so we're going to walk down a little bit closer to the sea and a bit further out. nice when the water's right out because you can walk all the way around here to a place called Sandy Bay which usually you can't get to. Right, okay, let's get a little further out. You know, just took my top off and around here there's seaweed, there's like shit everywhere and all I can smell in my armpit, it smells like bad McDonald's disgusting what a beautiful beautiful place it's like Ross my mate he's he doesn't realize he said he didn't realize when he was living here how beautiful it is 
Oh, Bill's laying in the rock pool. <laughs> Okay, I've got a solution. It's not exactly the most comprehensive of solutions, but Bell's at a ship, Jack's at a ship, they're in my bag on the side, and I'm just carrying them along with me. So now, all I can smell is shit, which is a lot better than me, because people who can say they smell dog shit are not me. Sorted. Now Jack's got the GoPro on, let's switch to dog power. I've been here for three now and the sun's just going down and it's beautiful. You've got to make the most of it. And I think I've been speaking to a closet homosexual. Never asked him straight out. It's too behind me. But then the closet. I've just eaten. Actually, I cooked a whole pack of belly pork and I grilled it in the oven with a little bit of salt I feel sick again and I think I don't know for a gay man I just can't take my meat I'm tired I've just finished watching the movie Delay TV plus one 007 sphincter it was very enjoyable I'm gonna go to bed now good night I've got a bit of a headache. I've been drinking lots of water and I had paracetamol and last night I did have a little drink but I only had a couple of drinks. I usually I can drink a lot more and I think it's the sun. I think it might have got a little bit of sunstroke. Oh, well, I'm going to have another couple of side paracetamol. Get your bad friend and let me speak. I've been growing this mint outside. Look at how pathetic it is. <laughs> it's still alive. Maybe we should give it some water. Where's the water? This is the one of the most disgusting jobs you can get, right? So this is the shit box. And this goes over here and it closes like that. Put this in the machine. But the thing is, I haven't cleaned it for such a long time that it's got excrement all over the box and the way the lungs. I tried to clean it a little bit, but it's got to be done because you know it's one of those jobs you just don't want to do but now I am cleaning old shit off a plastic box come on hurry up John so what we decided was he's gonna come down in a few days and we're gonna to go to a place called Babicon Bay we're gonna take the caravan I can't really afford it but we're gonna go anyway um, and then we're gonna have a nice time then you'll show your face my face is there so weird but now what he's going to do in london he's going to throw away the rug which he's going to film aren't you daniel yeah men's facial hair is very important not only to look as butch as i do but from certain angles like this angle it also acts as a defining line because i've got a bit of a fat chin meant to go like that and if I have a little bit of a line down there, it kind of gives a jaw effect. What do you think? Does it work? Look how big my body is. It's so fat. Look, you can see my ribs. Oh, I look really weird. What a weird person I am. Well, after see myself from this wide angle, I'm gonna say good night and just lay my fat, wide body to sleep. Good night, guys. I'm cold. It's actually really clear this morning. There's no clouds in the sky, but it's just not warmed up yet. 
it is a bit warmer outside than inside the caravan, but it's got that like really crisp breeze and my nipples are like boop pastels at the moment. Really cold. <sighs> I'm actually waiting for somebody to call before I go out. So I thought, you know what, instead of eating later, which I usually do, I'm gonna have, <laughs> I like doing this. This is what the professional chefs do. <laughs> Thank you, John, for the lovely flowers and uh, the card and the message. You're very sweet when you want to be. I thought they're going to have some water or something on them. Just a bit dry now. Mm. Really, really need to be productive and make sure that I clean the house. I do stuff. Look at the mess. It's been, it's been putting me down for days and I just haven't had the energy to do it. So now I'm gonna change my hairstyle and Andy has promised me to make me so beautiful that everybody's gonna look at me on the street. She's getting there slowly slowly. My beautiful hair is going. My new haircut. Beautiful, beautiful. Turn right. Turn right, okay, but where? There's nowhere to turn. Oh, here we go. I've found this place, which is really close, and it's something Century Trail. Oh, I found it. This place is supposed to be really highly recommended, and the dogs seem to be enjoying it already. It's beautiful, pretty. Oh, check out this view. This is the nicest view I've seen in Devon. I really like these little wood areas, these wood clearings. So peaceful down here. And you know, it was so close to the caravan again. <laughs> so I need to do more research. When I'm near the sea, I just want to go to the beach. But some of these woodland areas are definitely worth visiting. I have a funny feeling that these are hazelnuts. I'm not quite sure. I hope they're not poisonous. I'm gonna to have to explore that place again. I actually followed a route what said the long loop, but it didn't seem that long to me. A new series of American Horror Story has started, so I've just watched two episodes. I'm gonna watch another couple more. But in the meantime, I'm gonna sit down on the toilet and have a wee. Cheers. These two guys are not drinking today. These like they've run out of money and mine's like, oh. virgin. I have a virgin. She's a whore. <laughs> Only on Tuesdays. Cheers. Welcome to Oaxaca. No, this is not Oaxaca. Habana. 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 Hey. <laughs> we got something. We got titty. We got titty. See that jiggle? <laughs> John, John. <laughs> He's mine, John. Yeah, Martin, no. It's the last summer day and then now it's going to be winter. Hey, no sex in Westfield. Police is here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, I mean, never mind. Oh. Oh. Hi, Daniel. Hi, Daniel. Well, you can see that the night went really well because everybody is happy and drunk. Yes, Keys? Yes. And we are going to Keys' house so she can cook us a really nice meal. What are you going to yes. cook for us? Whatever you oh, want. Oh, what's this? Barbecue She's going to cook the day. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese from McDonald's. Some no, 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 Burmy shit. Burmy yeah, shit. Burmy shit. nice time but I'm watching American Horror Story which I love but right now I'm a bit drunk a little bit and I'm gonna go to bed so
I hope Daniel had fun last night because I didn't. I was here by myself, no friends, no nobody, just me and the little doggies and that's it. You know, I haven't really been out this morning and I am doing a Judge Judy morning with, look at that, steak and Monge too. So I'm just gonna chill out for a little bit because I don't know whether I wanna go out or not. I'm going to stop wearing this hat because one more look at it, it looks like the top of the penis. It does, doesn't it? Oh, God. That's probably why I found it in the charity shop for a pound. There has been a pie in my cupboard for about two years and it was given to me by this guy called Matt who used to stay in a caravan which was in all of a and it was in a tin. And look, that is the pie. Tinned pie looks amazing. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the glass. Look, it's all beautifully golden brown. It's like, do these, do, does food actually last for this amount of time? But I am gonna eat it, don't care. So, oh, so that's the crust. And all the stuff is inside here. I have no idea. It does look a bit crappy, but I'll try it anyway. Ooh. Ah! Hot. But nice. Well, another day gone, and I feel it's so hangover today, and I worked all day, and I feel like hell, and it's. I have nobody else to blame by myself. But anyway, it's over now, and I'm ready to start fresh tomorrow. Oh, she's climbing up. She won't be able to get up though, I promise you. She'll try her best, but she won't be able to. Okay, give me two minutes. All right, I better go because she needs to be lifted up. Look, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you next week at 6.30 on Thursday. Take care.